Yo, what's going on, guys? Colt and Mush back at it with the top five best graphics cards for the month of April. I am recording this on March 31st. It's gonna be uploaded on the same day, but April is just around the corner. And there are some great GPU options right now. Really, ever since the release of the GTX 1080 Ti and a bunch of AMD GPUs falling in price, if you wanna get a very capable GPU, you can do so for a very cheap price. So I thought this would be a good time for another edition of top five best GPUs for the money, so let's get right into this. Number five is the Gigabyte Radio. On RX 460, the Windforce OC GPU. It's a 2 gigabyte video card and it's available for $90 and there is a $20 mail-in rebate knocking it down to $70. So this is a very, very cheap option. For those of you that want a GPU to put in either a pre-built computer, to play games like League of Legends, World of Warcraft, games like that this GPU is going to excel at. Yes, you can play games like Skyrim, Fallout 4, and even like The Witcher 3 on here, but you're going to have to do so sacrificing on a lot of areas. That being settings and frame rate, but when you're spending only $70 on a GPU, you're probably not expecting world-beating performance anyway. And if you keep your expectations in line, the RX 460 performs really well given its price. Moving on, this is a GPU a bunch of people have been hitting me up on Twitter to start promoting it and the price that it's available for. And that is the RX 470. I have the Asus ROG model pulled up here. It is $150, but it's also got a $30 mail-in rebate, knocking it down to $120. RX 470 is for 120 $20 are regularly available. As you guys have shown me on Twitter, I get links of them a few times a week. So if you want an RX 470 for $120, which by the way, that is an excellent, excellent price for that GPU. It's not too hard to get it for that price. Yes, this one does have a mail-in rebate. $150 for the 470 could be considered a decent deal. And after you throw in that mail-in rebate, $120 is just an absolute steal for a GPU that does really high quality 1080p gaming. I mean, two years ago, if you're going to tell me that we were going to have a GPU in 2017 that's only $120, and that can do really good 1080p gaming, I would have said that you're crazy. But the 470's performance and even the latest games and highest end games like Deus Ex Mankind Divided, Battlefield 1, which Battlefield 1 isn't even that high end of a game, but when people talk about PC games, Battlefield is usually one that sticks out. The RX 470 does really well at games like that at 1080p. Sure, you might not get 60 FPS on everything, you might have to turn down some settings, but for the most part, for the price, it is a hell of a GPU. Moving on to number three, essentially the big brother, the Asus ROG Radeon RX 480. The 8GB model is the one that I have pulled up. That is available for $230, and it does have a $30 mail-in rebate, knocking it down to $200. You can also get 4GB models for as low as $165. That's around what I've seen them. I have seen them at $150 after a mail-in rebate. The 8GB model, however, for $200 is a good deal. You do also get a free copy of Doom with the RX 480, which you do not get with the RX 470. If you're getting a free copy of Doom with the 470 as well, that would have just been straight up insanity. Unfortunately, that is not the case. However, with the 480, definitely a nice inclusion. As I've mentioned before, I consider Doom one of the best PC games of 2016, and it's a game that can really test your GPU. It's a beautiful game, and to get it free is a very nice freebie, and as far as the 480's performance, it's gonna perform really well, but the price disparity between the 480 and the 470, it's pretty huge right now. Again, this is the 8GB model, whereas the 470 was a 4GB model. I just think that 470 deal is absolutely insane, but the 488 gigabyte model, also a good option. You can push some games at 1440p with this GPU. It is just going to fall a little short when it comes to the higher end games, but the 8 gigabyte model definitely helps at 1440p. If you're looking to just play at 1080p, honestly, I would probably go with the 4 gigabyte GPU. I believe those also come with the free copy of Doom, and they're only around 165. And like I said, you can get them as low as 150, 155 after a mail-in rebate. That deal is really good. The 8 gigabyte models are also a nice deal. Just depends on your preference and what you're looking for, to be honest. Moving on, over on eBay, there is a excellent deal on the Gigabyte G4 GTX 1070, the mini GPU. This is the smaller size GPU. Only a single fan, and prices on the 1070 and the 1080 have been going down since the 1080 Ti's release. This 1070 is available for just $330, which is a great price for a 1070, and it is a beast of a GPU. I have several 1070 benchmarks on my channel, and you guys have probably heard a lot about the 1070. There's a reason why it's one of the most popular GPUs on the market. And anecdotally, from what I see, the 1070 is far and away the GPU that most people seem to be talking about. It is just an excellent GPU. If you're gaming at 1080p, it's just going to crush about everything. I would highly recommend for those of you that are gaming at 1080p, you have a 144 hertz monitor, because then you'll see the full capabilities of the 1070, whereas if you have a 60 hertz monitor at 1080p, eh, then you're just going to have a lot of extra power that you're not utilizing. Either 1080p, 144 hertz, or 1440p. Games at 1440p, the 1070 runs 
runs them really well. It does fall a little short on some games if you want to get a consistent 60 frames per second. That's just very hard to do at a resolution like that, especially when you're talking about the higher end games. But if you pick up a 1070, trust me, guys, you're going to be happy with the performance. And now for $330, it is a really solid deal. And this is on eBay and limited quantity is available. So if you wanted, I would pick this up ASAP. However, 1070 prices seem to be going lower and lower, and I wouldn't be too surprised if we see them at sub $300 by the summer. Finally, I mentioned GTX 1080 prices are also going lower. This EVGA one is available for around $500, but I have seen 1080s for much cheaper than $500. I've seen them as low as like $450. And right now with GTX 1080s, you do get a free copy of For Honor or Ghost Recon Wildlands. You get to pick which game to get. And both those games just released in the last month or two, so very nice freebies. I would value those at like $50. Yeah, I know they're Ubisoft games, but recent releases and games that most people at least have some interest in. And the GTX 1080, if you can find them for around 450 to 480, they are excellent GPUs for 1440p gaming, even 4K gaming. There's a reason why they are as expensive as they are, but for those of you that are looking to get very powerful GPUs, honestly, I've seen far, far worse than the 1080 and its price point. And the fact you get a free newly released game with it, it is an excellent deal right now for those of you looking to build a higher end PC. So that's going to wrap up this video. Video, guys as always thanks for watching if you have a request for a future video leave it in the comment section down below let me know if you pick any of these up really good time to be building a pc the only thing that's kind of whack is ram prices but gpu prices are excellent right now for all budgets really so yeah as always guys thanks for watching and i will catch you guys in the next one peace out